Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Do you have a TV? Do you have a laptop? I'm going to show you something. <laughs> So why have I brought a TV out? What has this got to do with this video? Well, it's a photography video. So yeah, the TV has got to do with that. It's a TV or a laptop. I'll get into what the difference is and how to use them. But as I say, it's another photography tip and this is going to enhance some of your shots, not all your shots, and the laptop can help too. So, well, what's this got to do? Well, this is actually a photo I took as well. That's got nothing to do with it. This is a picture I took of um, in Largs. Uh, west of Scotland, but that's got nothing to do with the video. Well, not exactly. The idea is already, the hint is already here. Um, but this is a practical test for me as well because I'm actually going to be selling my old Canon 550D. So the Canon 550D, I mean, I've had this for years. This is going to be the subject of today's video as well. This is a way to turn pictures that you take of small items, things that you've got that you want to sell, you want to show off or whatever. You'll find ways of adapting this to any photography you want to take that that will work with this style and this technique. So I don't want to sit and waffle on. Waffle, 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 chat, 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 too much talking, let's get into it. What is this going to do for your photo? What is this going to do for your photography? Oh, and if you hold on to the end of the video, there's a double trick, there's a second tip using the TV or your laptop. So um, yeah, stick around for that, let's get into it. So what I've got here is a range of camera lenses, of ca uh, Canon lenses uh, from the internet and the picture is connected to the laptop or or your phone or however you'd get the picture onto your TV screen. Full screen, static image, now that's going to work as our backdrop. So what you now do is you take the camera and I'm going to place it on top of something just to get it in the right position. You can use a stool, a bench, anything that will get it up to about the right height. So I'm going to use this little flight case, put it just about there and then I'm going to place the camera on top. Hopefully if I can get it sitting just right. Eh, okay, I like it about there. Now, so what you can now do is you can just frame it, zoom and frame just the way you like. I think I might try and raise this a little bit and get more of a downward angle. Yeah, about there. Might zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, quite like that. So if we stick with that, what we now have is the, the camera. If I just focus, there we go. The camera now looks separate from the background. You've got an interesting themed background that goes with the item. So when this shows up on eBay or wherever it goes, it's much more eye-catching. So take a bunch of different shots, different angles, roundabout, you know, maybe jump in a little bit closer for some of the finer details in some of the pictures and just get a light source on the front. I've got my softbox, the normal softbox I use for all these videos. I'm just turning that on. Use a lamp at home, use some of the tricks I taught you before with um, the small little fl uh, LED lights. These ones here, I've actually got one here. You could use you could use this to do a bit of a bounce of light, you know, and you can see there, that's creating a little fill, kind of pink light on the front there. So you can use all these different tricks. A thought just came to mind there when I was about to take some photographs and I realized if you take something like a piece of slate or a small piece of wood or something flat anyway, that can make a much better base for setting your objects and your items on. I mean, that, that looks a lot better now. That's way better than the, just the, the box on its own. So let's take some pictures of this and let's see what we get. So here we have another example. We have Zach Wilde ready to play in some kind of canyon for some reason. But then, oh no, I'm only kidding, it's actually just models. Hey, hey, so another example of how you can have some fun if you're selling something, if you just want to show off some of the cool little things you have. This could be the backdrop of a crowd or something here, but you get the idea, you can have lots of fun with it, and it's just a case of putting it in front of your TV. And this time, I'm showing the size of the laptop screen. This is a MacBook Pro 15 inch, so you can get an idea of the size. There it is, very simple. Lay something down on the keyboard, a placemat, even a piece of paper if it's quite light, like this little amplifier. And yeah, you can create some really, really cool effects just by zooming in, crop it just right, and there you are. You're showing that off to the world and it looks fantastic. Just a little bit of cool and creative thinking goes a long, long way. Oh yeah. Bonus tip, I promised there was one. Here's our guitar and amplifier. 
looking swish, looking moody, looking blue. Where's that coming from? There's a big light source there. Could that be the TV? I think it could be the TV. Yes, 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 yes. There's a TV. There's the blue light. Put something colourful on there. Pink, blue, red, green, purple, whatever your favourite is. And you have got cool vibes for your photographs all day long. So yeah, there you go, two tips, both involving a TV and a laptop, both have the same principle, both have the same idea. Get out there, shoot some amazing photos, take some amazing videos, thank you. So there you go, there's a really simple tip that you can scale up, use your imagination, go wild. Not everyone has the skills or even has Photoshop to manipulate backgrounds and do all kinds of crazy edits. And at the end of the day, practical things like this, where you're actually moving things around, setting things up, it doesn't matter what kind of space you've got in your in your house or wherever you're taking your pictures in front of the TV, set something in front of it, stick a picture up on there, you know, connect your laptop to it, whatever it is, however you want to get that picture onto the screen, then take your picture and, and line it up and, you know, awesome. People will be just like, what? If you've got a cool toy, a cool object, just something you want to show off, you put that on Instagram, people are going to be like, that looks awesome. How did you do that? Heart, 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 like, 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 all day long. You'll just, you know, let's have fun. You know, spread the love. Let's just do it. Comment down below with some cool ideas. Give me some ideas that I can steal for myself. If you've got any ideas to tweak this method, then let me know about it. So hit the like button, hit subscribe, share this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.